How to make Fortnite run faster with these eight tips. This will improve your frames per second on all Windows, PC, and laptops, so you can get those headshots and get that victory royale. Welcome everybody, I am Kevin Smack. If this is your first time here and you enjoy the content, please join the family by subscribing and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss out. Tip one is going to be your video settings on the game. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these, and they're kind of in order. So the ones that I'm going through, the most important are first. So uh, that's kind of how it goes. So you want to make sure you get it set up correctly. If you have any questions about anything I have here, just let me know in the comments what step you're at, what the problem is, and what your question is, and I will do my best to answer it. Again, priority with number one and two here and then it kind of gets a little less each time but all of them as a whole will improve your frames per second together so let's go ahead and get started here so your game's running smooth and you stop getting lasered <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and click up here and we're gonna go ahead and choose settings now this is the first one's gonna I'm gonna talk about it two different ways so if you're at 30 frames per second and you're trying to get to 60 frames per second um, there's some things you can do um, you want to turn vsync off uh, that'll go through and help you out a lot um, motion blur also will improve frames per second so if you want it even more you can go ahead and turn this off I have a pretty strong uh, computer so I have mine on as you can see I have most of mine on epic if you're having crashes and freezing and everything, you want everything on low with shadows off. Shadows will also increase your frames per second, so you want to turn them off. Um, I keep them off because I think it's easier to spot things and not get confused with things, but some people like it on because then they can see people around buildings and things like that if they're hiding behind them. So I'll leave that up to you, but if you want to improve it more, you want to turn this off, V-Sync off, motion blur off. Um, and then put everything else to low. Your graphics aren't going to be as good, but this is definitely going to help your frames per second. So if you're trying to get to, get to 60, um, so you can go ahead and change this from 30 to 60. If you're just trying to play the game, you definitely want all of those on low and off, just like I mentioned. 3D resolution you want to leave alone. Don't touch that at all. It, you also, if you're still having problems and you're crashing and everything, you want to remove full screen. You want to go to window mode. Um, so window mode will allow you to play it better. Of course, the game will be smaller. If you're still crashing and you're at 30 frames per second on Windows mode, you got to start with the resolution. First of all, you want your resolution to match your Windows resolution. That's the best way to do it. Um, so if we go like this and I right click here and go to display settings. Right now, my resolution is 1920 by 1080. So that's how you find your resolution. So that's what you want yours matched up with. But if you're crashing like crazy and you're still not able to play, lower this. Try again, lower it, try again, lower it, try again. Keep going until you find one that works. These settings are very important to set up, especially if you're not able to run the game at all. Uh, but those settings will get you through to running better. Tip two, let's go ahead and increase the priority level of Fortnite. So how this works is you have to have Fortnite open, not just the launcher, but the actual game. You go down to your taskbar, right click, choose task manager. Then you want to go to details. I have mine always in alphabetical order, but it's on, so you can click on that and go to Fortnite. You're going to see two with Fortnite. You're looking for the one that uses the most memory, the highest number. Uh, it's the... Uh, Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe. You want to right click on that, choose set priority, and then you want to do at least above normal. Um, you could even do high if you'd like. Because I'm a streamer and I use another program to record, I'm not going to go all the way up, but I'm going to go to above normal. So when I choose above normal, it will ask you, are you sure? They change priority, and that's it. Now you can close this window and you're running this above others. So Fortnite's gonna take priority and it's gonna, your computer's gonna push a little extra juice to Fortnite. Keep in mind, this setting does reset every time you close Fortnite, unfortunately. So you have to do this every time you reopen the Fortnite client. Tip three, we're gonna go ahead and edit a Windows file to make this better. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the search 
type file explorer it'll come up go ahead and click on it and when it does we're going to go to the path that we have up here at the top so it'll be c drive users and then if you have a name for your drive mine's kevin and then you go to app data local fortnite game saved config windows client and then gamer user settings .ini. let's go ahead and double tap on that here we're going to go ahead and change the resolution uh, we got the resolution at 1600 so we want to change the x resolution to 600 the y to 800 and then again 600 800 on the last user confirmed resolution size so these are the four lines you want to change after you do that go ahead and choose file and save and go ahead and close that and that one's done next we want to go ahead and go back to file explorer you closed it we're going to go to this pc and right click and choose properties here we're going to go to advanced system settings. We're going to choose advanced settings. And then under performance, we're going to click settings. And then we're going to go ahead and choose adjust for best performance. This will go ahead and give you the best performance you can get for running your game. So go ahead and choose OK. And you will be set there. Tip 5. Power! I have the power! Let's go ahead and click here and choose a control panel. Um, we'll go ahead and go here and in here we're going to go ahead and type power. And when power comes up, it's going to be the first one. Change power saving settings. We'll click on there. Uh, here you'll have bounce and power saver. Additional here, you want to click the down arrow. Sometimes it hides it. Go ahead and choose high performance and you are good to go so this will use more power more electric just so you know uh, but your computer will go ahead and perform much better step six is to start cleaning up your computer cc cleaner is the best i've been using it for years and years and years you just want to go ahead and google cc cleaner download here it is go ahead and go to the downloads it is free uh, for the free version, go ahead and choose download and then just install it. Once we have it installed, you'll see it on the desktop. You can go ahead and double click on that. It may ask you if it's okay. Say yes. CC Cleaner is very well trusted. We'll go ahead and clean some things up here real quick because it's been a while for me. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and keep everything checked here. Um, make sure you double check everything. Uh, but for the most part, this just cleans up your cache, your history, and most of your junk. Uh, it doesn't delete your password, so you don't have to worry about that. So we'll go ahead and run that. Say OK. It'll go through and run. Once it's done here, we want to click on Registry as well. This is going to fix all your registry issues. I haven't done mine in a while as well. Let's go ahead and scan. Now you want to go ahead and choose Fix Selected Issues. Uh, you should, probably should make a backup, but that's not my style. So we'll say no, and we'll go ahead and choose Fix All Selected Issues. And then it's fixed. So now your registry is going to be running a lot better. Tip seven is to defrag your computer. So many people don't do this. Uh, it's so easy to do. All you do is go to the start, uh, go to the search. I do a lot by search. Just type the word defrag. This will come up. Choose this. This does take a while, so do it when you are not going to be using the computer for a while. Maybe when you're done for the night. Uh, go ahead and select the drives you want. Um, C drive is the main drive usually where all my programs run, so that's the priority. Uh, you go ahead and choose optimize and it's going to go through and start looking through here and making sure everything's okay so it basically what it's doing is it's taking your hard drive and it, your hard drive is basically like a book where you store all your files and what it does is it puts it all in order for you that way when it needs your files it knows where they are and it makes sure that all the space is utilized quickly so that's the best way to do it. If you haven't done this in a while and your computer doesn't automatically do it, this could be huge to speed up your computer. Tip eight. This is a pretty simple one. 
make sure you take care of your computer. If your computer's on the floor, make sure it's getting airflow. If you have pets, make sure there's no like pet hair or anything like that in your fans, because that will slow it down, especially in laptops, believe it or not. Uh, the hair can, for pets can get stuck in the underneath and cause airflow problems causing the laptop to get hotter, run poorer, and just not put out really good uh, performance. Also, don't keep your stuff on all the time. Make sure you turn it off from time to time. Reboot, especially after you've done these last six and seven tips, um, or all the tips so far, you definitely wanna reboot after this. Make, come up with a nice, clean computer. You should reboot before all your gameplay, especially with Fortnite, because you want it to be so good and so crisp. Leaving the computer on all the time, that's just going to slow you down each time more and more, especially if you're opening and closing Fortnite. This goes specifically for older computers. If you have a really good rocking computer, maybe not as much, but uh, as your computer ages, this is the best way to go ahead and keep things moving. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the eight tips. If you did, please smack that like button for me. Again, if you have any problems or have any future videos you'd like me to try out let me know down below i'm curious what you would like to see next thank you all for everything i definitely do appreciate it and as always smack out